Hello and welcome to tutorial 7. This is going to be a coding example tutorial. Here is the code we're going to be working on. As you can see, there are some key phrases here which I have not mentioned in other lessons. I will explain them as we get to them. The first line, get switches proc, is the name of the function get switches, followed by the keyword proc. The phrase get switches proc sets the word get switches as a flag to be referenced. This allows you to reference the phrase get switches at a later date and thus skip back to this part of the program. The next keyword is the push function. This function works in very much the same way that a push function in any other programming language would work. In this case, we are pushing the values inside R0, R1, R3, R5, R6, R7, and the link register onto the stack. We also push items onto the stack in that order, starting with R0 at the bottom and ending with the link register, or LR. The next function is the load register function. It does what it says on the TID and loads a value into R6. In this case, we are loading the value equated with the word GPIOB underscore IDR into the register R6. From my naming convention, I know that GPIOB stands for the B set of ports that are input-output, and IDR references a specific register having to do with those ports. The next line is another load register function. It loads the value of 0 into the register R7. The next line is another load register function. In this case, we are loading the value associated with the memory location stored in R6 into the register R0. If you need further explanation on what just happened here, please see my load register function video. The next function is a logical AND of the values in R0 with the hexadecimal value of x100. This is an interesting trick and can be used later on. This essentially isolates a single value which you can then use to determine whether or not that value is a 1 or a 0. The next function is an LSR or logical shift right. What this does is it takes all of the values in R0 and shifts them down according to the number you specify. In this case, we are going to shift the values in R0 to the right 8 spots. The logical part of the logical shift right inserts a 0 onto the leftmost side of the values as you shift over. The load register function, logical and, and logical shift right are usually all paired. What this does is it brings values in from a memory location, isolates one of those values, and then moves that value over to the lowest position in the register, in this case 0. This allows you to determine if a value inside a memory location has been set to a 1 or a 0. You can gather information from this, such as if you are receiving input or not. The final function is the pop function, which is meant to undo the push at the start of this section of code. This essentially retrieves all of the values we had put onto the stack in the same order we had set them. You'll notice that we don't retrieve the link register though, and instead retrieve something called PC. What this does is it takes the value that we have stored from the link register and places it into PC or program counter. This essentially tells the program to resume where it left off. This is useful if you want to separate this section of code from the rest of your program. The function of pushing and popping values at the start and end of each of your functions is also a good idea. As you remember, we have a limited number of registers at our disposal. By pushing the values onto the stack, we are preserving them inside the stack for later use. We can then use these registers however we like inside this section of code, and then retrieve our values after we are done manipulating everything else. This is a good programming practice, as you essentially know that you are going in with a clean slate and that all of your previous values have been preserved. We then end our program with two other keywords, align, which is essentially a housekeeping keyword used to align different values inside memory, and finally an end p, or end proc. This again designates the end of the get switches procedure. Hopefully you have found this insightful. Please leave comments if you have any questions and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.